hey guys this image was like that in before and after before and after would you like to know how follow this video hey guys and welcome to another video on Illumina Neo in this video I'm going to show you how to do quick professional editing in uh, Luminar Neo, especially the close-up. Obviously, I have a few portrait images. They're all beautiful, but I mean, I would like to take a look at the very first image um, that I'm interested in. For example, this one, although this is a nice portrait image, however, I like the close-up version of it. So this is going to be a heavy uh, cropping. So I'm going to do a crop first and then uh, maybe just up to not like that I'm going to go change to free and turn it to more like a square image I'm a big fan of square image so this is probably uh, uh, a good example All, and also you have to be careful you shouldn't crop like that uh, it doesn't look too pretty I mean, there's a certain rule of thumb. For example, if you do crop like this one, and then if I close it, um, you know, yeah, this is a very sensitive area. So you shouldn't crop too much. Part of the body might look very weird. So I would personally keep most of it. So there you go. Again, I'm gonna change it to free. Or in fact, I'm gonna go to one-on-one -on -one square and then just change that much better and then in the corner maybe shorten a little bit and pull it down right there maybe you know the idea is don't cut the head and don't cut the elbow that's all now I'm going to crop and close it and voila now second thing I would do now time to uh, make sure that the exposure um, and the background everything is uh, much better than the earlier it's already a well uh, exposed image I gotta say so I'm gonna go to relight and then do a little bit of brightness near and then uh, next to it I'm gonna go to brightness far uh, there you go. You can you know exactly what happened. So with brightness far in Relight AI, I um, dark I have darkened the background, and in the brightness near I have brightened the foreground. Uh, now huge change clearly right. Now just for fun, um, I'm gonna test um, a sun ray. Let's see if, it's, if it gives me anything. You know, just for fun again. So I'm gonna just add like a 36 amount. Pull it here. Now, it does not look strong at all. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Not a big fan. Now, uh, in the portrait section, Definitely, I don't need bokeh because it's just a plain background. Uh, the face, I mean, the face is bright enough. So I don't want to, I don't have to add a face light. Like if I do face light, it's just going to get too bright. So I'm going to go backward, you know, not necessary. Uh, the face, in the face section, you have eyes and mouth. Ah, this is, those are probably going to be more interesting. For example, um, eyes original if I change it to blue what happens so it changed the uh, color to blue quite interesting huh you know what I'm gonna play a little bit um, I like green eyes so iris flare a little bit more and then enlarge eyes just a touch and then eye enhancer let's see what it gives me See if I move all the way to 100, mm, it makes it uh, whiter, if I understand correctly. And then improve eyebrows, probably, you know, just a touch. Green, hazel, cat, honey, mint, owl, 
ah, I'm going to stick with green. I'm, I'm having different thoughts, just so just to let you know. But I like it already. So eyes looking well. Um, ah, eye whitening. That's also an interesting thing because I like my eyes a little bit standing out. Right. Now, mouth. This is where the teeth whitening. So I'm going to... You know, it's 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 a great image. Don't get me wrong, but you know, in a professional world, you do a change a little bit. But be careful, though. You have to be uh, very careful with your uh, subject, meaning that you. This is by law in France. You also need to ask for authorization. Uh, I don't know what happens in uh, in other part of the world, but in France, you ask for authorization before you ask um, do any kind of change. So lips redness. I'm gonna change it to a bit more red. I love it because so. In fact, if I do lips darkening, what it does? You know, they're both amazing. You know, both amazing. I have a huge respect for this subject, so I'm not gonna go uh, too far. So that's that, and then. Um, Everything looks good. The skin, maybe a touch changes. I'm gonna show you before and after. So that's before and after. Before and after. Before and after. You see? Fantastic. So that's done. High key, just to add about 15 high key. Then I my favorite obviously uh, glow. So I'm gonna go to glow and then add a touch um, glow here. Let's say Teddy should do a beautiful job. Then dramatic. I'm not sure though, but I'm gonna try. Nah, dramatic is not working in this kind of environment. Um, what I'm gonna do finally, I'm gonna change and then add a lot. Now, different lot might give you different things, so I'm gonna change to Sephia. Sephia is one of the oldest and classic thing in the planet, but mm, not in this case, I guess. So I'm gonna go to the portrait thing and add Rosa. There you go. Now it's doing quite well. And last but not least, I'm gonna change to global um, global exposure. So I'm gonna go to curve, and then add a little bit of mid tone, and touch contrast. A very mild and touch con contrast. There you go. Uh, let's see. And that's what we are talking about. Carve is a very dangerous and powerful tool, so you have to be very careful when you're using it. And that's it. I mean, I'm not going to go too far because this is already, you know, a beautiful and fantastic job. I'm just going to show you before this to a poppy, a punchy, uh, I mean, I brought harmony into this image, it just, you know, cherry on the top. I hope, really hope you like this video. If so, like and subscribe. And I see you very, very soon.